Okay, howdy, partners. Right. Right, uh, while you're trying to decide whether you can hear me or not, let me just see if I'm live yet. Uh, it does take a while, so... I'm just going to drink a little bit of tea while I'm waiting for this to refresh and say that I'm live. Because it's not like, you know, I can start broadcast. You know, I've got to broadcast and then wait for the result <laughs> all the time. It's not like I can... Yeah, right, okay. We are in this particular system, which is Merope, which is a very famous location. Now, I'm just going to do it where I was going to show you how to find this, but it takes a very long time to find this thing. Um, so, first of all, uh, let me show you where we are. Now, I can't play um, Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha Phase 3, which took, I know that's a lot of words. Uh, but we are in the Merope system. Okay, so it's just called Merope. If you put that into your search bar, which if you're on a console is uh, somewhere around here. No object selected and all that is. But anyway, we're here. Okay, and we're on Merope 5C, which, you know, if you don't know about this stuff, it's the fifth kind of thing orbiting the sun. So it's the fifth major planet. Okay. And it's the third one along, so it's ABC. It makes it nice and easy. Now, you notice when you go here and you look at this system, you know, this map here, this information here, it says locations, four Thargoid, uh, six human. Um, it doesn't give you any, any idea where these things are. Now, I said wrongly just now, just before I sort of stopped it, because it was going to take a very long time, that it doesn't mark them on the uh, on the actual planet at all. Because really, I think, they sh you know, if you've done a scan of the planet, it should. You know, I've already pre-done a scan. Okay. Now, I don't really want to... Okay. Yeah. i got the hard points up. <laughs> Let me kind of get the mic a little bit closer. It doesn't pick it up very well and unless I do. Hopefully, I am still muted to telly, yeah. Okay, we've got a throttle up. So I don't want to move too far from this location, that's the only trouble. Right, it's throttling up there. So there's conflict zones around here too, so there seems to be... So I've got to be careful here, I don't want to get into any conflict, I'm not great at that stuff. Right, so I said mistakenly, that, you know, it doesn't mark it on the planet. So as you go around the planet, you know, it mark it, it have the conflict areas, but I w looked into here and I thought, well, it's not on there. But when I looked into here, it could be because I came here before that they actually have come up. But I got a feeling if you, um, if you mark, you know, you don't get these come up until you come here and you actually start coming into the atmosphere or whatever, that they actually come here. So I don't think it's as easy as just, oh, well, we'll just, you know, just get here and mark it all. I don't think it does that. Now, I've got to watch I don't go too high and i got to watch I don't get too low. So I've got to kind of stay here. Right, so there's a Thargoid barnacle here. So it does actually mark it. So I wrongly said... That I wish it would mark it, and it does, but it could be that you've got to come here, scan this planet with your surface scanner, uh, and, you know, and do our, you know, do this whole, this, this thing, you know, all right, uh, to be able to do it. So there's a barnacle here. Now, I don't know if this is on the light side or the bright side. It looks like we're on the bright side, okay. We've got our atmosphere here, so we should be able to get out and walk on this planet, I do believe. Uh, I haven't had a look at this, although we can't go this far um, on Odyssey yet. We can only go to a, uh, what was it, a 50 light year bubble at the moment. I did a test of this actually, um, you know, aiming high. I tend to aim high, if you do that, you can get it down to kind of 100 kilometers. If you get it down to 100 kilometers, because obviously if you stay, if we, if we say kind of stay here, we're going to go down faster and we're going to drop before I want to. But I like to want to drop ran about a hundred kilometers and then it then really does get me a bit closer so we're getting close to that drop now so if you stay nice and high like that get to a hundred and then point down at it 
And when it does the glide, we should be pretty close. And thankfully, it is daylight, so we can see this in broad daylight. So I kind of just keep the glide where it is, you know, and keep it nice and central. But stay high for the majority of it, until you get at about 100 kilometers. And then let this thing pull you in for the last bit. You can just kind of, you know, just tweak your gliding as you're coming in. Just kind of keep it fairly central. And it, there you are, it, it brings it nice and close like this. Okay, right, now we're going to boost forward a bit. And I come in at a bit steeper of an angle now. But, of course, because this is not Odyssey, I cannot get out and walk around. So, I hopefully have got a... Uh, well, we can actually see a little dot there in the distance. So, I've got to be careful now. I've got to slow down. Obviously, you've got to slow down before you get there, because you've got momentum, of course. And we won't go into all that. <laughs> Looks like we're stre streaming okay. Good. So, there is our barnacle there, which sets off this whole, you know, and I'm hoping it's not one that's, uh, you know, I'm hoping we can pick up pieces from here, but it could be some of these are now defunct, defunct, or whatever, I don't know. So I'm going to try and land in a safest place nearby. So we're going to put our landing gear down. So, so we haven't got automatic landing, this is not Odyssey, but because it's quite bumpy, it's going to be landing difficult to land deployed. here. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's trying to find a good spot. And I don't know whether we'll be able to pick up the things that are on these... Surrounding the barnacle, there are these spikes. And on these spikes, you sometimes get these... Um, I can't remember what the substance is now, because it's been a long time since I've done it. But it looks like these spikes are not working. In other words, they, they haven't got the points. They've been broken off. But if they haven't been broken off, then you can actually samp, you know, take pieces, those pieces off. And then you get the Thargoids come after you, which is great fun. Uh, yeah, it looks like, but sometimes, you know, you do get a, a Thargoid vessel kind of, uh, kind of land on one of these things to try and refuel. But it looks like this one now may be a bit old and, uh, it's not gonna do it anymore, right? We, what we gotta do is we gotta find a point, slow right down like so. Whoops! Uh, and then try and land. And as we're trying to land, it will say whether. Oh, I didn't realise I was that low. <laughs> right, let's go into the light bit here. Let's try and find a bit which is suitable to land. Now, am I actually touching the ground? There I am. So it's trying to find a blue bit. So I imagine the best place would be... I don't really want to land right next to it because that could put, me, could put me in danger. I think it does turn incredibly slow. So we got to kind of go across until... And let's go a bit higher so I can see whether it's going blue. Uh, if we got... Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to... <laughs> I meant to actually come backwards as in... Yeah. But yeah, it's very difficult to get this thing, thing to go blue. When the Odyssey comes along, it seems to find it even when it's not all nice and lined up blue. It seems to be able to find it okay. Uh, we got to go a bit, yeah, very mountainous here. So we'll have a job to find a flat area here. I may have to go all the way over there. Uh, let me get the camera out and look this way. It's probably the easiest way of doing it. But yeah, this gives you an idea of the uh, of the site here. And as you can see, they're broken off. Now, if they've got points on them, then you can actually um, you know, get, to get the substances off of them, which are like little pods on them, which is uh, really cool. So, a flat spot, it's going to be difficult to find one, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be very, very difficult. So I don't want to do a long drive in the SRV. Which, if you don't know, is... I don't know what SRV stands for, to be honest. <laughs> I 
I may have to go like right away over here, but I can see this is in a really awkward place. I mean, there's a little bit of flatness there, but probably there is the only place I would imagine. So this is going to be very, very difficult to actually f find a place to land here. So I'll try. It's very finicky about finding a correct one, but it looks like they've improved that for Odyssey. So you wait, just got to wait for it to go blue, really. Uh, once it goes blue, at least, uh, even if it's a tiny bit, then then you can work from that. So we just want a momentary blip of blue. That's all we want. And it's not going to do it by the look of it. And turning this thing is like oh so slow right so I'm going to go to my options and um, we're going to go to controls and I can see if I can make that um, flight rotation one this is the one I, do. I I tend to put this really far over as far as I can so that um, you know I can get as much you know get as, move it as quickly as I can I do believe it's like it's, yeah oh it's definitely slow so I don't know any other way to do this. So yeah, this is going to be very, very tricky to find a spot here. Uh, I don't want to... Yeah, this is very, very tricky. Where is the actual thing again? Right, it's kind of, yeah, I don't think it's anywhere. The only place is down there, isn't it? Which is to my left, okay. So let's, so the only way, quickest way to do it is to do that and then pull up. But of course you've got to watch you don't hit anything. And then pull up. And that saves you very slowly rotating around. Uh, there must be somewhere on here. It's just a teeny bit of blue. That's all I want, a small bit of blue. So I just go nice and slow. Let's see if we can just uh, flicker blue for just a half a second. That might be enough. No, you're not going to give me it. Okay, let's go a bit higher. Yeah, this is a tricky site. I wish I'd come to this one. <laughs> I don't know which is up, actually. I've... Is that up? I think that's up. So it looks like over there is the nearest, and obviously getting here is going to be <laughs> really tricky because there's a lot of hills here, and they are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That kind of slipped out there, it's kind of stupid. Right, it's, sort of, it's the only flat bit is this bit here, by the look of it. So let's whip over here, kind of sharpish, onto the flatter, flatter terrain. And then we should, should get a, a, a dink of blue, hopefully. Please let there be a chink of blue here. So we've got to go a bit further. Aha! Now, once you get the old chink of blue there, see? Now it's telling us to rotate this way. Okay, fine, right. Then we bring her down nice and steady. We don't want to come down fast. We just want to go nice and steady. It will keep asking you to make changes. It's trying to align itself with the surface here. Again, so it's just doing a little adjustments as we're coming down. Don't go too fast. Once you get there, it makes that noise. If you try and bang down too hard, it won't work. Now, I've got an SRV. So we're going to deploy that. A surface something vehicle. Reconnaissance vehicle, vehicle maybe. I don't know. That's a, just a guess. And hope my settings are assist on. How do I do assist on? There's one of the buttons is assist on. So we've just got to find that one. 
drive assist there we are so this will make it easier for me now for the lights it is that so that means when I press the forward it keeps on going if you have drive assist on otherwise you've got to keep your you know you've got to kind of push it in let go push it in let go put you know kind of jerky so it kind of sets it at whatever you set it and then we turn around because you come out always come out of the rear all right, and then we should pick up a very strong signal of that um, barnacle thing, which is going to be way up there somewhere, I presume. So it should be a very strong signal. So let me just stop here. Um, what is the handbrake? Is it A or B? B. Right. Okay. Now let me go outside the vehicle again and do this. Right, there we can see which way we're going. Right, we're kind of going that way. Is that the way to where the barnacle is? Very good question. And we can raise it up here. So somewhere in this vicinity is the barnacle. But we're at the bottom of a steep cliff. <laughs> so i got to go, really, I, I need to pick up that strong signal. See, we've got lots of these little little minuscule ones but these are just yeah I find on very low revs this thing does not wanna it kinda goes very jerky let's hope they sort that out in the next one so if we go look for a very strong signal it's either gonna be our ship or it's gonna be the barnacle right there's a very strong that is probably our ship so that could be where it is it's a very strong signal there I'm gonna keep on going around a minute to see if there's anything else because it's an alien kind of thing it might make a different signal now I don't understand all these signal things but what they generally mean is every one of these little blips there's gonna be a substance which you have gotta drive sometimes a very very long way because when it's a small thing like that it's yeah as you can see it's, it's very very small isn't it right but and they get bigger and bigger as you get close to it. Now, as you can see, we're n always, I've noticed in this game, is it always miles away from it. And I wish they would kind of spawn things in a little bit nearer. But it looks like it's up here. There's some strong signal here. Now, obviously, you can drive a lot faster. But, you know, you've got to be able to get up these hills, first of all. So... I find sometimes low revs is better. And you can thrust this guy, give this a bit of thrust as well. Right, let me go to my left here because that seems to be where the strong signal is. So I could be heading completely the wrong way, of course. And of course, we're heading down here now, so we'll probably. Right, let me stop there just to see if I'm closing in on our target. All right. Uh, let me see. Up and down is this. Yes, we are closing our target. So that is that is the correct way now. Let's find a safe way, probably to our left and then up the hill. But that's that's the, the, the next thing. Is it might be better if I turn right there and go up. It's always good to have this camera because it does assist you in all your endeavours. <laughs> so I'm going to go up here. So I've got kind of, there's a kind of a gentle slope. So yeah, that is outdoor camera is very useful for scanning around the area and see a good approach. Because obviously too high a steep, steeper cliff, we're going to struggle. But we've got very good tyres on here, you know. I don't know what company makes it, but by God, they hug, they they certainly hug this rock. Somewhat rotten. Right, where are we? Right, we're closing in on it. But yeah, it's a shame we can't pick up the things that are on it, which are quite toxic, and you, you do kind of need some, uh, I think, whole kind of protection. So you got to get this. So it's a very, very involved when you do all this stuff on the dangerous. Everything's never simple. It's always a lot of steps you got to go through be able to, to do all this stuff 
Uh, and that's the kind of thing that kind of kills it a little bit for me is everything is just a huge grind. Uh, and that I think, you know, does put a lot of players off this game. Is, you know, people like complexity and all this kind of stuff. You know, they will, they like all this stuff, obviously. But, you know, if you're kind of in the ilk, right, okay, we're in a bit of a dodgy situation here. Now, one of these buttons, it gives us a thrust. So that could kind of thrust us over it. That's it. That's why we've got some thrust on this thing. So, right, yeah, it's going to be difficult to get close because I try to get close, but obviously not get stuck. So let me stop there, put the handbrake on. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not central there. Get back to this thing. Oh, yeah. As soon as you get within, you know, if you get too close to it or whatever, it does tend to phase out like that. So there we are. There's a barnacle. Now, sometimes you do get a Thargoid ship come down. Thought for a minute, one of those is moon. You will get a Thargoid ship come down and you actually refuel on this thing. Because these, I don't know whether it's for their warp drive or their fuel, but they will actually come down and you kind of, gravity kind of stops and it becomes a vacuum. So if you're anywhere near it, you could be pulled up into it. Not you, they won't actually abduct you, but you'll kind of float up in the air if you get too close. So that's going to be interesting when we can come out of our ships. Uh, when Odyssey releases, and you come over one of these things, in, uh, but you, if, if, you know, this thing looks small. You know, that thing's quite large, you notice, but this thing, you know, looks quite small. But we're actually a very small part of that. Although I've got my lights on, uh, but as you can see, we're quite small in comparison. So you, know, you compare our body there. Okay, so you see him sat in his little chair, and you and you imagine if he got out and he went up to that thing, we probably barely touched the first, you know, the first rung of it, really. We'd probably wouldn't even be the height of this. We'd be barely half or quarter of the height of that. But, um, so I thought I'd show you this, and I, I want to come here. So I'm going to kind of save my game here, um, or stay within this area, hunting around on the other barnacles. Um, so what I might do now is head back to the ship. Let's see if we can maybe get to one of the other barn. Uh, get to the other one, one of the others. Um, so I just don't want—I don't want this to be too long. But I want to head to the ship now. So what I can do is, you see that green square that's showing up? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, there is a green square there. I'll see if I head down here. Could be in all sorts of kinky trouble. But I presume there you are, and we can kind of target that. And it's Commander Ray Ray Awesome, I do believe. What a fine chap he is! So don't forget, if you like this, you know, give it a follow. I'm going to keep my eye on the text. He always says that, never does. But uh, it's because I don't get many people come f come in on Twitch. Why? I don't know. I never. <laughs> yeah, I've got you know a few more on uh, on YouTube. He said boastfully, but I will put this on YouTube, and you know you may find this interesting, uh, or you may not. You know, you t you take your choice. If you don't uh, like this kind of thing, then don't watch it. Simple as that. I give you the options, you take your choice. So we're trying to head towards the old ship now. Of course, you can go into this and still drive it. Of course. Okay, so if I click this, okay, I can gain. You know. Get rid of this, get rid of that, and I can still drive this thing. All oh, right, we're having a little bit of trouble here, apparently. So we can do this kind of nice third person view. Whoa, see Daisy. Oh, I may have, you know, gone a bit, oh, I'm going a bit fast here. <laughs> but yeah, you can do that. So you can click it and I can kind of reposition myself, you know, and then click it again. Uh, and we're kind of coming up to it now. And I can, you know, move in, but you can only move in in a certain distance. Uh, I think I better stop there. Oops, hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> I kind of went a bit too. Put a handbrake on, Ray. Right, I try. 
That's it. That's it. I'm on the controls that makes the cotton down. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you got to kind of remember to, you know, click it to gain control again. Right, okay. I've got the handbrake on. Right, let's go back to the craft. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute, right? And then we'll, but, yeah, if I release the handbrake, you see, it's all jittery on very low revs. You've got to kind of go at a minimum of like that. Better get anywhere, and then we're going to climb back in our buddy, and we'll try and um, we'll go to one of the other ones. That's maybe one of them will have things for us to collect. Now it will kind of right away in my uh, cargo, and I would have to get it back to some sort of system nearby. Maybe I'll land on one of these fleet carriers. I've never actually landed on a fleet carrier yet, but it's very difficult to like go slow enough to be able to dink your way up to this thing, and then just watch the right hand side there, the handbrake. Board ship, boom, hit the handbrake, okay? Okay, now, I mean, look up here. We're going to go up there. All right, now, much as I would love, you know, to be able to get out and walk up there, it'd be great. Especially up the ladder. So, first of all, we're, oh, yeah, yeah, it always does this. If you get too near the ship, it kind of goes like that, so... Uh, let me see, how am I going to do this? Yeah, it's like as soon as you click that, it's like I try, I'll try and move back so that. Handbrake is on. Oh. Hang on. Handbrake is on. This is tricky. Because when I go up, it's, I think it's because I'm underneath it. So what I've got to do is I've got to get away from it. Like go over to the side Handbrake here is on. on the camera. Press up. That's it. Right, now now we're getting somewhere. Right, see, it doesn't like being near the ship. It kind of rejects it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know the handbrake is on. But I'm not doing the handbrake. I mean, as soon as you get anywhere close to the thing, it says, Hello. I don't like that. All right, so we want to go up there. So the only thing we can do is, is do that. And then point down and go. Now, I could dismiss it, of course, <laughs> but we don't want to do that. And then I quickly, I quickly change the camera, look up, and you can see yourself going up. I would love to be able to just go through those doors or whatever it is. And have a look, and then it cuts out and it goes to that. Now it's pretty darn sharp. I must admit, it's pretty darn quick. So I'm going to go to one of the other ones, which is the next closest one. Because one of them may have something we can collect. So, we're going to take off. Up we go. Landing we're going to get rid of the landing gear. And we're going to aim to the next one. Without hitting a cliff on the way, hopefully. So we're going to head up. Yeah, I know. Kind of head that direction, but that's where it's going to be. Ooh. Right, apparently there's one over there, but it looks like it's the other side of the planet. Is it, or is it just hidden by that? So number barnacle number one is. A fair way, away, 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 away. All right, so we're going to go up, and that will take a, little, a considerable amount of time. So we're going to charge up our duty, although we can. So we've got to boost away a little bit. So I, you know, I hope you find this a little bit interesting. You can head to this system. You, you just got to put it into your. Um, yeah, I know. I got the gear out. Right, well, it's down now. Happy. <laughs> right, let's get up to. Uh, yeah, there's conflict zones all around here, so don't go bumping into a conflict zone, whatever you do. That would be madness. Right, and then we're going to come back down. Now I know what you're saying. Why come back down? Because you want to go back up. So we've got to kind of do the camera like that so I can see where I am. Uh, but try not to nip back in. You want to be going up. So you've got to kind of do this. And get high enough so that we can... Oh, it's dreadfully slow. I wish I could go do this quicker. Although, if you push further, it does go quicker. 
but I don't want to go past it obviously so yeah you got to kind of look to your left a bit to kind of keep it in uh, in picture now if you go into the camera that won't show up why not he said well because it's a camera it's not you all right all right now then we head back in this kind of direction although I don't want to do that all right here it is now we're kind of ooh, we're going a bit fast here so we're going to try and slow down as fast as possible but not now as I say stay high so that you don't drop too low yeah, as soon as you get a certain height it seems to come in with this kind of weird thingy you know the weird outline stuff it looks like this could be in the dark so as I say I aim high so that it goes to about 100 once it gets about 100 then I go down to the center and that will pull you in close enough now I suppose you could go lower but then you'd be right on top of it probably right there we are and then we're just gonna stay there and let this beauty drop out and I'll have a cup of tea and I must admit that's pretty quick and I'll obviously you know it's a little bit slower but obviously they're still optimizing it so you know they're testing it find out the bugs and then uh, optimize it and I think they're optimizing as they go because it does seem to get better with each thingy now just gotta watch we don't get too close here because now it's on the dark side <laughs> and we don't want to be tempted by the dark side do we now my lights on it's a bit hard to tell if my light is on external lights is now on so yeah I gotta be careful here because obviously we might overshoot and we can't see the ground until we get very close to the ground which may be too late then so I'll kind of show you this one if this one hasn't got a barnacle you know one of those I can't remember what they're called now but they're worth a, a nice sum of money you know I can't remember how much because it's been a long time it's been a long time now I'm coming back home a bit away now <laughs> let's sing any more I think you're allowed a certain amount whoa ho 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 oh there Jimmy you almost hit the deck there buddy let's go backwards a bit Can't stabilize and have a look down, shall we? There it is. Now we've got to find a pick a, pick a spot here. Right, let's see. Is there going to be somewhere flat? Right, okay. Let's just see if we can land near it. For goodness' sake, put the landing gear down, Ray, and then gently pop it down a bit until it gets within reach, and then it will start to show up this little. Landing gear deployed. Now, I'm saying it's un unstable terrain. I disagree with that. So we may have to go. Let's try going to the right here. See, if there's a a little flat bot spot there. Now it looks like it's just turning as opposed to swaying sideways. So I've got to press the left button to activate the alternative controls. So I can just ease myself sideways. Let's see if we can find a nice bit of flat ground here. Highly unlikely. Ah! Tis but a flicker, sir. Right, we got a flicker. Right, we gotta simulate ourselves that way. But it says it's uncertain. No, now it's moved now. No? Oh, oh hang on. Right. I'll make up your mind. Either it is or it ain't. And then up. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't be such a wince. We have to pick another spot, you know, because this is barely a window of opportunity here. Oh. Now, surely it's, it's not going to do it. But you never know, we might be lucky here. I mean, I dread trying to get my thing out of there. Go on, buddy. You know you wanna. Oh, come on. 
please. It's like okay there. But it's not okay there. That's because it's a little bit nearer to there. Right then, let's see. Uh, ooh, let's see. It's because I go back. Ah, that did it. That could be the sweet spot there. Right, let's try this bit. Go on, buddy. Come on. Don't let me down at the last minute. Oh, you chipper. All right, we go a little bit that way. No? Or a little bit that way. Or a little bit this way. A little bit back. A little bit back. Or a little bit front. I think we'll give up on this particular bit. Maybe go for a bit over here, perhaps. What do you think? What are the chances, mate? Oh, come on, give us a bit of grit. You're not liking it, are you? Alright, I'm shifting over this way then. Yeah, I'm ignoring that blip. Oh, that's a little bit closer. Forward a bit. No. Back a bit. Yeah, it's kind of looking down for it, really, isn't it? Gotta be somewhere on this godforsaken planet. <laughs> oh! Whoa, 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 you went too far there, Ray. You panicked. You kind of panicked and uh, your fingers went all, all over the place there. Right, hang on. There it is. Up! Yeah, kind of get when it gets very close, it uh, kind of says. Whoa, there. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Out we go. Deploy! <laughs> we'll probably hit some obstruction as soon as we get out. And don't forget, it's behind us. There's no lights. No gravity warning. Drive assist on. Thank you for that instruction. Right then, handbrake off. It's behind me. So, I could go backwards, couldn't I? Hope I don't hit the top and, and whack my head. Right, and then we go forward a bit. And head towards the main blip. Is it? Yeah, it is a blip. It's quite a big blip, in fact. This is a blip. Sorry, I, I don't know why I did that. Now, if you increase the engine thing like that and put a bit into the systems because to protect it, you know, we're getting more of a thrust up into the air because, you know, I could thrust this and go beautifully up in the air and then just make sure you don't come down too hard otherwise you'll damage your furniture. Man, I do go rather carefully, don't I? So we can go hair in towards this way. Yeah, these, it looks like this particular planet now is a kind of old one which has depleted itself. Oh, hang on. What is that coming up now? Some at Mark now. Is that a... It's just a barnacle, is it? Well, I can see it's an organic structure. So there's no other bits flying around that I could pick up? Because that would have been rather nice. Is that a cliff there? Let's go around. I want to see if you know, it may be just that great big thing. Which is called an organic structure. The weedle our way between these two. But yeah, normally these are, you know, pointy spikes. And on top of the pointy spike, you know, attached to one of them, you have these artifact things, which I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, can you hear that noise? It's the sound of my brakes rubbing against my thigh. <laughs> Come on. Tweak me out of there, boy. That's it. I'm going too crazy. Yeah. Hopefully in Odyssey they will sort out this moving at low RPM. Or raise per minute. 
Uh, organic structure. Stop there and put your handbrake on. Right, let's go into our outer, outer camera, which could set the world into a wobbly amazement. And then we'll tip it sideways like that so we get a nice view. And there we are. The old barnacle. It looks like they're all the same and they're all just old barnacles. What have we got them on Earth? Any sign of a Thargoid? It's got a lovely ringed planet there. It's purple bit in the middle is just the planet. And there's a massive ring there. What's that noise? I hope something is not going to come down. Because sometimes, although this one is not actually working by the look of it because it's all deaded. I can hear a noise. You'll soon know if it's a Thargoid because it go <laughs> you know because I've seen people get sucked up inside these things. And I won't recommend it. So there you are. So there's there's your organic barnacles. And if you're lucky, um, you know, you can get those little things off of the spikes and get the stuff. So I'm going to get back in the ship. I think that will do. And I will, I will pop off to one of the others. Oh, my brakes are caught on something. Whoa, not too fast. Not too fast there. Yeah, they kind of caught the, the nipping bud. Hey, you notice we're leaving little tracks. And my headway back to the unmanned commander, Ray Ray Awesome. Now, of course, I could ask it to leave, but then he probably might, uh, you know, the closest he might get, because I got this beautifully picked, this beautiful teeny weeny bit out of this whole area. He could, he could, he could land next time when I recall it. It's about five miles away, so. Uh, I won't uh, dismiss the ship, but you can actually do that if thou so desired. And of course, I could fire at it. <laughs> Let's have a go at that, shall we? Oh, wrong one. See if we we can go to combat mode like that, and I can go to my little repeater, and I can shoot fire at it. And my ship is under attack there. <laughs> now I could, if I press this one now, which one is it? I'm not sure which one it is because they kind of change all the controls. Right, it's X. Is I can go and like manually do this thing. I could like you know just just nick it on the bud there, and look how the shields come up beautifully. Look at that, look at that a little bit on the top. Of it. I think they've changed it now with. Uh, but doesn't it look nice? I mean, all right, it'll probably damage in it, but I could turn this baby round, and in fact, I can go into the camera. Oh no! I can go into the camera mode, although it looks like I can't go into camera mode when I got the turret. Fair enough! Aspen Explorer still got 100% shields, so let's have another fire at it. Let's have a bit of fun here. Would left trigger do anything? No. But obviously I could put a load of the weapons here and... Ooh. Now we took off a little bit there, didn't we? I'm going to put it all into there and very little into the Weapons. The ship is under attack. I wonder who's who's doing that. Some idiot. All right, let's get back in the ship. Whoa! Man, they, uh, he left his lights on. Hey, uh, Commander, awesome! You left your lights on, buddy. Hey, you drain your battery, mate. Yes, is it dilithium crystals you got in there? Because if so, you might be alright, but... You know, if it's the kind of battery that you would get in a car, which I very much doubt. So we can get into this hunk of awesomeness. Not me, the ship. Although I, I can be an all, you know, awesome hunkiness if I want. The rumours say that I, I have... Right, board ship. There we go. So you get just right. I'm so precise on the buttons, it's unbelievable. And we'll watch ourselves go up. Like so, but of course you've got to do that first. And just miss, I could just miss it. I could transfer a cargo, by the way. And all we can carry on this paltry little 
SRV is two tons, which I wish it was a little bit more. All right, go look at the details. Wow, that's a lot of details. <laughs> let's hope it has a bit more. All right, let's board the ship and then very quickly. I like going up inside here because look, there is a bit of detail here. A few lights. I mean, if it if it didn't have any details at all, but we could get up in there and walk inside, I'd still be happy. Frontier. Let's try the number four. Uh, I'll probably stop it here, but let's make it a good hour. Let's charge up our engines. Maybe turn the lights off, might be a good idea. We'll go up. And we'll thrust forward. Like so, towards that... We you know, we could crash into the, one of those rings there. That would be a great way to end, wouldn't it, actually? Oh, oh yeah, we've got to get rid of that. And of course we can go to the outside camera. So I, I like going to this outside camera. We can see ourselves lurch away from the dark depths there of the barnacle. Frame shift drive. Charge up our... And, and if you go to 90 degrees, you'll automatically be on escape Three, vector. Two, one, engage. I don't want to enter a conflict zone, otherwise we're in deep stum, as they say. Now I'm going to kind of look to my right, because it kind of helps you with... You know, knowing how many million miles away we are. I kind of kind of line it up like that and then kind of look to my right and go, Hello? There it is, over yonder there. And it takes a little while to get there, of course. So I'll try and get it to orbital cruise, which for those who don't know, is... I don't know, I don't know, what is it? Yeah, it's just kind of getting away that, isn't it? Right, we can't, we're kind of just above the drop, or DRP, or DERP. Which is what you know some people call each other when they're complete idiots. Right, there's a barnacle there. Now I am doing them in sequentially, so we haven't been to them before. But all right, yeah, I know they're all going to be the same. But I'm going to try and get myself to this one. Hopefully, it's not too steep an angle, or too angled too steep. Sun might come out on this one. Ooh. Yeah, see, see that red zone? That's coming into coming in too steep. You're coming in too hot, buddy. I wonder where the other one is. Just out of sheer maintenance. Oh, forget it. <laughs> so, yeah, stay high. High. I like, I like doing it so the, the little curve at the top, you know, the kind of atmosphere curve or whatever it is. Uh, the atmosphere lying or where it is. So it's nice and kind of symmetrical. <laughs> I'm funny like that. Uh, things have got to be, you know, perfectly ordered in the world or I fall apart. Oh, sorry, did I just make a noise into the microphone now? Yeah, I can't, I can't do it any further away. I would love to have it further away and please the, the millions that are watching. But um, unfortunately... Yeah, I'll put it for everybody, you won't be able to hear me. I mean, you don't want that, do you? You don't want to hear just the game sound and not me. I mean, that would be travesty. I would upset Ray Ray Awesome very much. I know, I asked him. Right. I'll put the ship's lights on. Should we just confirm that the ship's are lights on? Yes, they are on. What's that there? Is that night vision? Let's turn night vision on, eh? Ah, it's a better view there, complete. That's a much better view. <laughs> Let's hope it's not the same one. This could be one we visited earlier, but I'm kind of doing them in as, as how far away they are in distance. So this could be the same one. If it is, I apologise for that. Although not too much. <laughs> Oh, don't go overdo it there, Ray Ray. So it could be the same one. Oh, I should have done it. It's gone for the furthest one, shouldn't I? I 
just just wish it had some bits on it, you know, that I could pick off or puff. Could be a different one, you know, but it looks like they they're also inept. That same one? I don't know, I mean... Oh, careful there, careful, you get close there, boy. This looks like a bit... Oh no, it didn't... Oh no, it's nowhere near flat. <laughs> I'm thinking that's flat, am I? I'm thinking no, definitely not flat. So this could be the one we, that we, uh, we had earlier. I don't know which ones I visited, because I don't know what the order was. But anyway, anyway, that's... Oh look, an unknown probe code. What is that? A flying schnitzel? Wonder where that is? Just out of interest. I'm going to ignore that one, because it's probably exactly the same. I'll take, you, take that off. I'm going to boost our way away, 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 away. Get up to 90 degrees. Oh no, that's not 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees. Just there, where it flips over, look. It's flipping great, it really is. Look at that. And Verity, I think it's Verity who's speaking. You're wrong. So we've got to come. Uh, I'm going to move right away from this planet a bit so I can zoom in on whatever that is because that looks interesting. It could be like a probe, it could be a chicken leg, it could be anything. So yeah, it's a shame I can't do the uh, any more of. Look at that, out of reach, not out of mind. Uh, that I can't do any more of Odyssey, but unfortunately, computer says no, Ray. Where well, you're not allowed to to do stuff like that. Whoa. Gotta come around the planet a little bit more, right? Yeah, I kind of, oh yeah, I tend to go like that so I can at least see it, and then we'll boost our way around here. So I've probably gone a bit too fast there, but you kind of want to stay in the blue, and then kind of come around like that, and then you can whip towards it like that. Whack up the old volume there, and I might find out if um, if Verity is the thing, but I don't know how you find out to be honest. I think you got to go to the store to find out, and you don't want me to go to the store, do you? I've, I've bought the odd thing on the store, but I usually wait till they're... Oh, oh, do, am I go maybe going too fast, maybe going too fast, maybe going too fast there. And I may have accidentally hit the button in, 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 in panic, thinking I could stop right next to it, but of course that won't happen, will it? I was trying to stop right next to it, hopefully. Actually, actually, we're not that far away. So I might boost towards it. Yeah, actually, we could boost towards that. It's probably some kind of um, thing to scan, isn't it? Like a like a kind of boy. Oh, it could be a girl. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll charge it just for a fraction of a second and then quickly come out. It could be it could be a conflict zone. So I have to very sharply get out of here. Stop! Oh, it's a conflict zone, alright. Get out of there, Ray, get out of there, get out of there. FSD, please charge up, charge up, we don't want to get attacked. Oh don't say that, please don't say that. Run for your life. Run for your life. Come out of combat. Don't tell them that you're in combat mode. I'll just go in analysis mode. I don't want any trouble. Three, two, <laughs> one, get out of conflict zone. Okay, we don't want to go anywhere near that juicy thing. Right, just to finish off, I'm going to go through the rings of pleasure. Where is it? There it is. I want to go through the rings of pleasure here. Because it seems like an exciting place. It's a good, it's, a hazardous zone there, let's keep away from that. There's Maropi 5A. Now we might be able to land on a few more of Maropis once we get near that. 
We're in Super Cruise, aren't we? Yeah. If I, uh, oh, wrong one. Wrong button. If I go into the galaxy map. Now you can zoom out and that you can get there quicker. Like that. But, um, I take it the Ring of Paradise is this one here. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It's quite a juicy little being, that, isn't it? Can't rotate it or whatever, but of course, if, if you go to. Yeah, before, see, when you wanted to do this, you just go to there. Hang on. <laughs> Quite like the map, but see, you can go here, look, you know, you go over here and you can look at all this stuff here, and you can go to there. All this kind of beautiful stuff. Look at that, unexplored. Alright, and then all you do is just flick to the right, and you're straight away, you're on there, and you can do your destination. Well, that's all kind of changing, obviously. And I kind of don't know whether I like it or not. Oh, hang on, I may have gone past it now. I think I have. Man, this ship goes fast, doesn't it? Right, ready? So, sorry this is not more interesting because, you know, I can't get Odyssey going. So I'll be glad when it's on, on uh, console. To be honest, I've given up on PC. My, my PC is, is been constantly a pain in the jimbris. You know, it's kind of, it likes me one minute, but most of the time it doesn't like me at all. An unidentified signal source there. I wonder if that's in there. So we're going to fly through this juicy substance here. Not too fast. And we'll get into the camera so we can get a real good view of this. As we crash into the zone of non-importance. Alright, I'm going to right click again. Then I can go a bit quicker. So we can get it a little bit quicker, then we we'll slow back down because we don't want to crash into it at almighty speed, only at very low speed. And then it kind of crashes out. Oh. oh, now I may have integrity. So it's got it does like an emergency stop. But yes, it's a, a, look at the dust clouds. And there's Merope 5, way off in the distance there. Yeah, you got to admit, I do like going in these things. They're so atmospheric. Look at it. And of course, you can do your mining, which is another another thing that's really complicated. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, to to kind of mine this thing. You know, you could you could fire a laser out and get a few little chunks off, but you can't just do any old laser. You know, it's it's not any old laser will do. Hang on, which one is the fire group? You know, I can't just fire my laser in this and it will instantly you know, get some stuff you know it's not as simple as that no nothing is ever simple in this game <laughs> it's got to be a little bit more than that for the sake of the geniuses who plow all their money into this yeah, like the backers i mean i'm i'm one of those backers hello i've been scanned by something you know and i could kind of I've got to be in the right cockpit mode. I got. I could fire on that, and that's a lot of happen. You'd have thought it'd break little chunks off, wouldn't you? Or chunk little breaks off, or if I fired a cannon at it. You'd have thought that'd do something, wouldn't you? But no, don't don't do a fire then. What's a fire then? So I could whack a bit more into weapons. Let's get some really juicy. Juicy goes at it. I could take my weapon, in fact, to a heat sink. No, that's probably not a lot of good. Uh, what else have I got? What else have I got? I got so many things here. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, a torpedo. Let's fire a torpedo. No, <laughs> doesn't like torpedoes apparently. Yeah, this thing, this thing won't bust at all. So you got to have a special mining laser to do all this stuff. Uh, and I haven't got that said equipment. Because you got to kind of sacrifice something else. I'm kind of a, you know, explorer slash explorer. So, you know, I, I don't kind of go in for the mining bit. Although I, I, I hear it is fairly lucrative. But I don't quite know, you know, I, th I think from what I remember... Um, you got to kind of get a prospector thing and fire at it and then that tells you where the sp heat spots are and then you got to like fire explosive things at it. Something like that anyway. 
uh, and I, so I don't really know much about it or how to do it so I, I kind of haven't been doing it but anyway I hope you enjoyed it today uh, we'll, I'll just we'll just sort of float through here I'll leave you with that as a nice shot to finish off and we'll do the outside camera and hope I don't hit a rock because I am a rock I am an island just see us all we'll just see if we can avoid we kind of get into a nice third person kind of view here Although it's kind of a third ship. I kind of get myself nicely lined up here. Yeah, I know, I'm very exact, aren't I? Kind of get us nicely lined up. Oh, there's a bit of shadow there. We obviously went to. Then we'll click the right button. And then I can still control this thing as though it were amazing. Look at that, just like that. And I can still control the ship. So I do like all that. And then we could hit the old boost button. I'm trying to avoid this. Let's try and clip it with our wings, shall we? I wouldn't recommend this. But, you know, being a fool and an idiot, I, I like to test things out. Oh, no, I missed that one. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're going to scrape it now! Woo-wee! <laughs> Taking damage. I think my shields went offline there, and I took a bit of damage. But, yeah, you can have great fun like that, whipping through these things. At great delight. Firing through the clouds. Probably even better if I was driving it like this. I'm whipping through these guys. And I'll leave you with this to finish off our last kind of bits, you know, what to watch next, if you so want to. And I'll see you all next time. And uh, guess what, guys? Yeah, you know it. You know it, don't you? I'll see you later. Lovely and atmospheric, isn't it? Bye, everyone, and I'll see you later. And have fun on Odyssey to you lot because I can't play at the moment. Shields, Never mind. Online. Shields are online too. There we go, we're on back online, we're fine. Let's boost our way into the murky frames of darkness and I'll see you all next time. Thank you! And please hit that like and subscribe or follow if you're on Twitch. See you all next time. Bye everyone. See you later. Let's hope I don't hit this rock before I Let's just make sure we're missing something. Hang on, let's just make sure we're heading towards the gap because I hate to kind of, you know, get out of the Twitch menu and smash into something. So I'll see you all next time. And guess what, guys? See you later. Bye! Very quickly get out of this before it crashes. <laughs>